which jet engine do you think is the largest in the world? If your answer is General Electric GE9X, then you're wrong, but at least it's close. Actually, this nickname should belong to the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. Despite the fact that this engine is still in the demonstration phase, Rolls-Royce has already tested it at maximum power. It can be said that it is the future of the aviation industry. So why has its prospects turned the airline industry around? How big is the Ultrafan engine and how does it actually work? Let's dive in. Global warming, rising sea levels, drought, ecosystem changes. It can be said that people are becoming more and more aware of climate change. As one of the driving forces behind higher carbon emissions, the aviation industry is increasingly focusing on producing more efficient and environmentally friendly engines for aircraft. World aviation is showing an important shift towards a greener sky thanks to Sustainable Aviation Fuel Initiatives, or SAF for short. They are aggressively exploring renewable energy sources, which can come from materials such as used cooking oil, agricultural waste, urban waste, and some types of algae. Unlike conventional jet fuels that are derived from finite fossil fuels, SAF is a renewable and low-carbon alternative that significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions. One of the aspects that makes this fuel source attractive is its immediate compatibility with existing aircraft and aviation infrastructure. SAF can be blended with conventional jet fuel and is compatible with existing aircraft engines without the need for any modifications or additional equipment. This means airlines can immediately put SAF into operation without affecting flight safety or performance. SAF's environmental benefits are significant, so the race to develop green engines that can power next-generation aircraft has been going on for a while. The engine war attracts engine manufacturers, and some finished products are actually making their mark in the market. These include the PurePower PW1100G engine from Pratt & Whitney, which reduces fuel consumption by up to 16% and noise emissions by a significant 75%. CFEM International's narrow-body LEAP 1A engine has delivered a breakthrough in performance and proven environmental friendliness since 2016 and is used to power the Airbus A320neo. And it's impossible not to mention that GEA Aerospace has developed the amazing GE9XA, said to be the most powerful jet engine today. It retained that title until the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan was implemented. Back in 2014, the last engine produced by Rolls-Royce was the Trent XW UB97. Despite being the most powerful engine currently in use by Rolls-Royce, its development had already begun before the aviation industry began to truly introduce sustainability standards from aircraft. The XWB engine project eventually caused huge losses for Rolls-Royce after the COVID pandemic. In addition, Rolls-Royce only focuses on producing engines for wide-body aircraft, but currently, the demand for narrow-body aircraft travel is much greater. That's why Rolls-Royce is actively looking to change the game by developing its new Ultrafan engine. So what is Ultrafan? In 2014, when the XWB-97 engine was just put into use, Rolls-Royce revealed a new concept, Ultrafan. It was initially revealed as a new engine unit, but as there has been a lack of interest in large gas turbines from aircraft manufacturers such as Airbus and Boeing, it has become a testbed for the new technologies. In early 2023, at the world's largest aero engine testing facility, Testbed 80, Ultrafan engines began a testing phase performed using 100% SAF. By April of the same year, the company ran the first demonstration of Ultrafan. Rolls-Royce CEO Tufan Ergen Biljic has described the demonstrator as a game-changer with the capability to improve the engines of today and the future. Its demonstration will be used to evaluate a number of advanced features in system engines from materials to core and gear structures. As mentioned earlier, the Ultrafan's diameter is unprecedented. The GE9X once held the title of the world's largest engine with a diameter of 134 inches, even wider than the fuselage of a Boeing 737. But Ultrafan is even larger than that, 4% larger with a diameter of 140 inches, so it immediately overpowered GE9X to become king. What's great is that the Ultrafan not only has a large size, but also comes with great capabilities. It will change the future of aviation through improving performance and reducing emissions. To deliver that superiority, how exactly does Ultrafan work? Basically, the Ultrafan operates like a turbofan engine, consisting of main components including a fan, compressor, and turbine. 
The main function of the fan is to suck air into the engine, and this air is divided into two streams. One goes through the engine core, where it will be compressed, plus the fuel and mixture will ignite to create thrust. Another thread bypasses the core to contribute additional thrust to the engine. The ratio between the mass flow rate of the bypass stream to the mass flow rate entering the core is called the bypass ratio. Usually, the higher this ratio, the more efficient and quieter the engine is, and Ultrafan has a high ratio of 15 to 1. To achieve that impressive figure, the manufacturer combined a large 140-inch diameter fan with a relatively small core design, resulting in not only improved efficiency, but also reduced engine weight and complexity. In addition, the Ultrafan also has a power gearbox that connects the fan to the low-pressure turbine, allowing the fan to rotate at a different speed than the rest of the core, thus delivering optimal performance and efficiency. In fact, its electric transmission shattered the previous aerospace industry power record by generating a remarkable 64 megawatts of power during testing. Another unique feature of Ultrafan is the use of carbon-titanium fan blades that are not only more durable but also lighter than traditional metal fan blades. Carbon titanium is a composite material consisting of carbon fibers embedded in a titanium matrix which can withstand high loads and temperatures while also having very good corrosion and fatigue resistance. The engine also includes a lean combustion chamber that minimizes fuel consumption and emissions by using less fuel and more air during combustion, further enhancing its performance. This results in lower flame temperatures and a reduction in nitrogen oxides, a gas that is a major contributor to air pollution. When it comes to sustainable adaptability, Ultrafan brings immense benefits to aviation. According to Rolls-Royce, Ultrafan offers a 25% fuel burn improvement on the first generation of Trent engine and has the ability to save up to 20% more fuel per flight compared to current engines. Ultrafan will also significantly reduce nitrogen oxide emissions by almost 40%. It will also reduce noise by 35% compared to the Trent engine and virtually eliminate non-volatile particulate matter, reducing the negative impact on human health. The biggest feature of the Ultrafan lies in its ability to adapt to a thrust range that extends from 25,000 to over 100,000 pounds. It will be able to integrate with a variety of aircraft, powering from narrow body to wide body models. This is an opportunity Rolls-Royce, as the company intends to increase their presence in the narrow body market. Let's do some comparisons. General Electric's GE9X engine, this turbofan has a 134-inch fan diameter an approximately 10 to 1 bypass ratio, and 110,000 pounds of takeoff thrust with a 10% performance improvement over the previous version is G90. However, the GE9X has the highest thrust at 134,000 pounds, making it the most powerful jet engine in the world. Next is Pratt & Whitney's p double U1100 GJM powering the Airbus A320neo with an 81-inch fan diameter. The new bypass ratio is only 12.5 to 1, but the thrust range has increased from 22,000 to 33,000 pounds with a 16% increase in performance over its predecessor. The Leap 1A engine built by CFM International has a rotor diameter of 78 inches with a pass ratio of 11 to 1 and a thrust range of 23,000 to 35,000 pounds. It achieves a 15% reduction in carbon emissions compared to the previous version and 50% lower nitrogen oxide emissions. From this, we see that Ultrafan outperforms these engines in many different aspects. Whether bypass ratio, fan diameter, adaptability, and fuel efficiency emission reduction. Only the GE9X is a more powerful engine, but the important thing right now is that the Ultrafan is designed to be able to operate on 100% fuel sustainable aviation from the beginning. The future of Ultrafan ahead is extremely bright. Many say that with that 4% larger diameter, the Ultrafan's difference compared to the GE9X doesn't make a difference. However, only 4% larger diameter, but with new technologies will produce much more impressive engine power and performance. The manufacturer itself does not want to increase the size too large because it will incur material costs, as well as low commercialization ability because it is not compatible with current aircraft bodies. It can be said that Rolls-Royce has carefully calculated and is ready to revolutionize the future aviation industry. Let's follow the developments of this green engine and see if it can make a big splash with other potential engines, such as the CFM Rise or not. 
By the way, if you want to learn more about CFM Rise, click on the link on the screen.